Hi, this is Info Puppet, and this is my Better Late Than Never Halloween tutorial about digital body dismemberment. Blah! This stuff scares me! You are absolutely gonna love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This worked fine in Photoshop Elements 11 and Photoshop Elements 10. And this is the model we're working on. I know, she's like my favorite. Well, let's go to the toolbar. I'm going to select the Magic Eraser Tool. Not the regular eraser tool, the Magic Eraser Tool. And I want my tolerance to about 32, opacity 100%. I'm just going to left click and release. Now, this model was isolated on white. If you don't know how to isolate on white, then click on this tutorial here. Now I'm going to click on the elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to left click, hold and drag and create a very narrow elliptical marquee. Now once that's done, I'm going to let go and I'm going to uh, select command and delete on my Mac keyboard or control and backspace on my PC keyboard. Now to get rid of the selection, I'm going to hit command and D or control and D on a PC. Now we're going to file, new and blank file. I'm just going to click OK. This is my blank file. And what I want to do now is I'm going to go to my toolbar. This time I want the regular eraser tool. And I'm going to do 101. That's my perfect favorite size. And I'm erasing the lower part of the girl. Now I'm going to select the move tool. And I'm going to left click, hold and drag her onto my new blank file. All right. Now I just hit Command and Z on a Mac or Control and Z on a PC for undo. Wait a minute, I can't use the eraser tool because I don't have a layer selected. All right, I just selected my layer. They're so picky. So now I'm erasing the top part of the model. All right. Now I'm gonna left click, hold and drag this part of the model over to my original image now let's go ahead and go to the layers panel and see exactly what we just did. Well, let's get rid of this thing. I'm not going to save it. All right, we're going to slide her over here. And now what we have is we have the top part of the girl on layer two and the bottom part on layer one. Okay, we have half of her on one layer and the other half on another layer. Now I just slid the top part of her out of the way because we need to work on that bottom part. I just click on the color swatch. I'm going to select like a light blue. I love light blue, but I'm actually going to go for like a very light gray. If you want my exact colors, it's 200, 207, and 210. Just type them in. I just clicked OK. And now I'm going to click on the ellipse tool. But if you don't see that, you might just have the rectangle tool up there. Just change it to the ellipse tool. Get over it. It's there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the magnification to 300%. And what we need to do, and this might be a little bit of work, but you want to draw, draw on the lips that's the same size as her stomach or her torso. That looks pretty good. But I can grab the move tool and maybe do some fine adjustments. So yeah, move it up. That looks good. Alright, now I'm going to go to layer, layer style, style settings, and... Well, first thing is I want to get this drop shadow away. I don't need a drop shadow. And the glow is what I want. And I don't want pink. So I want like a, like a light gray. Alright. And uh, actually, let's see. Where is that light gray? I know it's up here somewhere. That looks good. So I just clicked on OK. And, and now I want to change the size. Bring it down to like, uh, like 6. So you can see the glow now. And you know what, I think that color is a little too light, so we're going to go just a little bit darker gray. Just clicked on OK. Looks a little bit better, but I don't know, I can't even tell the difference. Alright, now I'm going to click OK. So you see that kind of looks like, well, it's hollow, so we're going to click on the layer of the shape. And I'm going to select Duplicate Layer. That was a right click, by the way. Now I'm going to click on OK. 
I'm going to right click again and select duplicate layer again and select OK. Alright, so now I'm just pulled off one of the uh, one of the shapes. We have three of them now and I'm resizing this to fit the arm. That looks good. Now I'm going to grab another shape. Remember there's three right on top of each other because we duplicated the layers. Now I'm just going to resize this to fit the other arm. I'm a genius! So here's what we have now. How does that look? It looks awesome! Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the shift key down on the keyboard and select the lower layer and all three shapes and then select merge layers all right now we're going to bring up our background image and i'm just going to left click hold and drag the girl over to the background image and put her right there now i'm going to left click hold and drag the upper part of her over we'll sit her on the bench And maybe she belongs in the pot here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll just use the eraser tool to make her look like she really fits in the pot. I'm going to grab my eraser tool somewhere. All right, there. See that? I'm just going to fast forward and show you what it looks like after I got done with my erasing. And there it is. Now look at the hair. I'm going to use the burn tool. And you see how, how nice the burn tool does? You just grab the burn tool, make it really small and move it back and forth to get rid of the white highlights that you sometimes have when something's highlighted in white or isolated in white. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor and leave a comment. I really appreciate those comments. Thank you again from Info Puppet.